Alright, welcome back to part two. So we were in the middle of proving uh, this by mathematical induction, and we reached the point where we want to say, okay, all these terms here, 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 to k, minus 1 to k, those are, again, just by the definition of summation, equal to the sum from uh, uh, 1 to k of i. So we can say that is equal to i goes to 1 to k of i. And then we still have this other part here, plus k plus 1. And again, this is just by the definition of summation. Okay, but if we look around our screen here and see what we have available to work with us, in our assumption, we said we are assuming that the sum of i from 1 to k of i is equal to k times k plus 1 over 2. So we can safely plug this in because we're assuming that is true as part of our proof. So, so let's plug that in. Uh, k times k plus 1 over 2, and then we still have this plus k plus 1 here. And then this is really important. This is by our inductive assumption. So it's really important to note that because uh, that's where that assumption is coming from. Okay, so let's just do some math here. So that can work out to um, k times k plus 1 over 2 plus 2k plus 2 over 2. So I just multiplied the numerator and denominator here uh, both by 2, so we can have a common denominator and put these together. So that part was by algebra. And so then that uh, is going to be, um, and I'm going to multiply this part out on the left here. So we have k squared plus k plus 2k plus 2 all over 2, uh, which equals k squared plus 3k plus 2 over 2. And I would like to write this on a new line down here. I don't think we, oh, we do have room. Okay, so we'll say um, that all equals... Uh, k plus 1 times k plus 2 over 2. We just factor that. And that equals uh, k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1 over 2. Now that should look familiar. And this is why I did this in red. So we really highlight it up here. This is our goal. So as you're doing all that algebra and you start thinking, what am I trying to get it to look like again? It's this want to show. That's why it helps to really explicitly write out that want to show because once you get jumbled in all this algebra, it's easy to forget you know, what your ultimate destination is. And so um, once we have this on the left-hand side equals, and we just either by algebra or by definition of summation or by our assumption did things to manipulate the right hand side and we came up with a right hand side that matches the right hand side of our want to show. So that was what we wanted to show. Inductive step is done. Inductive step holds completely.